I have no idea what I'm doing. Wait, so is this four or is this five? My eyes are burning. I got it, I got it. All right, <laughs> three, two, one. All right, you guys ready? Yes, sir. YouTube, how the fuck you doing? Hey guys, Nate Shot today and bringing a brand new video. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. Joining me here in the 100 Thieves Content House Kitchen, we have Valkyrie, and then we have Courage and Brooks replacements, the B team. <laughs> All right, well, Avalanche is about to get off camera here for a second because this is a competition set for Frosty, Valkyrie, and myself. Today, we are doing the Chipotle Guacamole Master Class. So we're gonna be teaching all of you at home how to correctly make Chipotle's guacamole. Well, I'm going to. I don't know about Ray and Frosty. Oh, you're getting cooked. Hey. Cut that out. <laughs> get this guy out of here. All right, so here's how it's gonna work. Valkyrie, Frosty, and myself, we're all gonna take turns individually following the exact recipe from Chipotle's guacamole. And then at the end of it, when everything's said and done, Avalanche will be taste testing these blindly. He won't know who made what, and the winner that he will decide is the person that made the guacamole that is closest to Chipotle's very own guac that you can get in stores. It's gonna be a great day, let's get it started. Hey guys, it's Valkyrie. Welcome to my Chipotle guacamole masterclass. I will be teaching you how to make Chipotle's delicious and fresh guacamole right at your own home. As a warning, I have never in my life even touched an avocado. I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, normally, they would use 48 avocados, but that's a lot. So we're gonna be doing a fourth of the ingredients, which is still kind of a lot. First step for this guacamole is to pour two tablespoons of citrus juice into a one-third pan. Is this my one-third pan right here? I got my one-third pan. So we had this prepared already. Um, citrus juice, two tablespoons. Okay, I used to get this messed up with tablespoons and teaspoons, and I'm pretty sure TBSP is tablespoons. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, that's one. And I'll give it a little extra. Oh, that was too much. That was too much. I, I want everyone, I like, I like citrus and I want to do a little extra. I'm, I could go off recipe a little bit. It's not like I work at Chipotle. Okay, so we need five, eight, five, five, five eighth cups of onions. Cut the onions. Oh, don't onions make you cry? Okay, 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 okay. We're gonna cut these up. Hey, Lee! Baby, come here! I need help, I'm phoning a friend. How do, how do I peel this? I don't even know, you gotta, what type of onions you gotta peel? What, I've never even heard of peeling an onion. No, I need lots of help. All right, baby. No, no, I don't want you to show me. I want you to do it. Okay. Safety number one. So we're putting on this medieval glove that all the Chipotle employees use because they are like the heroes of our times. An expert onion cutter would definitely chop off the butts. We're just slicing them from the bottom, trying to keep it intact. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, I have brought up my beautiful girlfriend into the scene here to help me figure this out. So you work on it, you, 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 you do the five A's. Okay. And I'll do, uh, and I'll watch. Yeah? And I'll learn, ooh, oh, the skin did come right off. Look at that. My eyes are burning. Holy shit. okay. Oh my God. I probably should put the glove on. I got to golf tomorrow and I don't want to end up at the emergency room. Although I am very precise with some things. I don't know what that was in reference to. Now we cut from the bottom right here. I'm not sure if you can see that, but you just make small lines a lot right along the bottom while also trying to keep it intact as best you can. You don't want to cut all the way through to the end because you want it to stay all connected together, but because eventually we're going to cut from the top and that should dice out the onion quite evenly. Oh. It like, it like hit me like a monster truck. Oh my God. <laughs> Things are getting worse. I legit, I can't see out of my left eye. <laughs> there we go. Now these are perfectly thin, nicely diced onions. That's how you do it. Oh, I got to cut jalapenos now. All right. <laughs> Let's 
Good go. Fourth of a cup. Okay, that sounds like one jalapeno. Just like that. This is gonna sting your eyes, so maybe like wear some like protective eyewear or something while doing. I don't know. Do you? I'm just gonna cut this in half. I just got all over my face. So I can like literally cut my hand with this and I won't cut myself? Oh my god, dude. It smells so spice. <laughs> I'm trying. We're just, we're just gonna go with the flow. Does this have to be cut in half again? That's about one fourth right there of a cup. So we should be good. Just gotta toss those into the little, the little marinade we got with the lemon juice and the onions. And boom. Boom. One fourth. Okay. How many times have I said okay in this video? Okay. <laughs> Cutting off the butt, because we don't like that. And chop. <laughs> um, oh my god. These like these stems up here, they're okay to eat. These bottom ones down here, you really don't want to eat those. They're very, they're very crunchy, don't taste good, you know? So you just cut about right in the middle. And you gotta try to. This is where it gets a little tricky, okay? Just try to stay with me, try to keep up with me, all right? You gotta try to roll this up as tight as you can, like a... Just roll it up, just like that, okay? Keep it together with your left hand while you slice with your right. Can I take this glove off? Uh, technically not. There we go. Okay, thank God I had it on. I would've just cut my thumb off right there. You got the cilantro, baby? Bang! Pick it up a notch, kick it up a notch. This glove doubles as a cheese grater, or in this case, a cilantro grater. Okay, okay, okay. I wasn't keeping count of how many tablespoons I'm on. <laughs> like four? <laughs> Wait, so is this four or is this five? So now we're gonna be using this handy dandy spatula to mix all of these together. We'll step right over here. Just mix them together in that lemon juice so they get nice and macerated. Just make sure you get that evenly coated right here. You don't want, you know, some parts to be lemony, some parts to not be lemony. Now that's all evenly coated. We'll move on to the avocados. Does anyone know if avocados are fruits or vegetables? Take a 50-50, bro, just shot in the dark. I think that you can cut these very soft. How do I cut an avocado? I'll show you. I've never cut an avocado before, but they're an amazing fruit slash vegetable, you know? <laughs> so let's just get right into it, okay? It's time to cut these 12 Haas avocados. <laughs> Pretty much just, just stick it in and then go in a circle. And then you twist. Voila, it's beautiful. So, uh, funny fact, avocados are actually indeed a superfood. They are a complex, healthy fat. They are. After all the avocados have been cut in half, scoop out the flesh. <laughs> what the? Scoop out the flesh? Scoop out the flesh? Place it in a mixing bowl and throw away skins. You know how to do that? So next, you're gonna need a bowl of the big ass variety. So we got this giant miniature personalized hot tub here and we're just gonna use this scooper. Oh, I like these soft ones. These soft ones are very easy to get out of the shell. They wanna come out. <laughs> Ava, don't worry about it. What, I, I, completely, I completely missed what just happened. For the next part, you're gonna take the smasher and just smash these avocados together as hard as you can. Mash, smash them! Yes! You don't have a masher? What, what are we gonna do? Let's look around, see, uh, do you see a masher here? Don't overmash? Are you sure? Yeah. Well, they were beating the sh out of this. 
Just like that. We're done! <laughs> okay, next! For the next part, we're just gonna take all those vegetables that we diced up and put into lemon juice and we're just gonna add them in here and just mix them together so it's all nice and combined. We need to pour mixture from the pan to mashed potatoes. All right, simple. Very simple process. All right, put that all in there. Okay. Oh no. It's happening again. So right now, we're mixing up all of our macerate that we prepared before we started cutting the avocados. We've got the avocados mashed up in here and it's taking a guacamole form here now. You guys wanna get a shot of this? Look at that. Hey, if you find an avocado, like a whole one, then it's mine. Sprinkle three-fourths tablespoon of salt. Salt makes everything better. So you, you drop, see, we'll have a competitive advantage in here because you drop the salt while I'm stirring and then it'll, It'll be some magic. So we're just gonna mix this up a little bit and then we should be done. Just try to get it evenly distributed among the guacamole. Give it, yeah, just give it a little taste, baby. I appreciate you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Great, that's good. Okay, so now we're just gonna pour this back into the pan and then we should be done with our guacamole. This is a giant bowl. Okay, wait, I am very stupid. Okay, now we just need to put it in this pan. <laughs> mm. Just gotta spread it out evenly. Don't be afraid to add a little force. You want all that extra air in there to like escape and to add a nice little design. You just go like shh, shh, shh. And there you go. Chipotle, guacamole. Challenge completed. What a ride. <laughs> All right guys, the guac making is done. We are here for the official taste test. Now I ate a lot of food, so clearly I'm going to pick the best one. That's all I have to say. So let's let's get into it. Gotta get it. You have no idea which one is which too, right? No, no clue whose is whose. The names are on the bottom of the plate, so I won't know until after. To get it. Look, look, get, a, get, a, get a good shot of that. You see how much I got on there? But it's trash, right? No, that one. Yeah, cool. <laughs> I have no idea what to buy. That one's decent. All right, on to number two. Let's see. We're gonna get a bigger I'm scoop nervous. here. I'm yeah, I don't, I don't know <laughs> which is mine. There. Hmm. Wait. <laughs> hmm. He said. He said. Now that one right there. I'm going to, I hate to do it already. I said I wasn't going to rank till it's all done. This middle one is automatically below the first one. The first one was better in my opinion. I forgot that. This one's a little, there's... What'd you say? I forgot that. How do you know that this is, you don't know yet, bro. I just How are you giving up already? Have some faith in yourself, man. Nothing. The consistency of this, that is why I'm putting it below the first one. The consistency of this is worse. There's a little, a little too much going on. We'll shove it out of there. The okay. final taste. From Brandon Avalanche. Here we go, here we go. That is my last name. That is my government <laughs> name right there. Bro, bro. <laughs> it's done. It's over. The rankings are in. Bottom tier. Okay, not bottom tier. This one was still decent. You know, one of you went all hard working on it 40 minutes. I respect it. You did a good job. Just, just not better than the other two. We'll go ahead and put. This one's second, very good, but not great. And this one right here, last one, first place. First place, undoubtedly first place. This one had salt in it, so I'm, I could taste the salt in the last one, so it was definitely not his. This is gonna be really awkward if it is his. Brandon, go ahead and flip over third place. Oh, oh I didn't want to. I put salt in mine. <laughs> Number two is. Good job, Amy. Wow. Woo! Congratulations for winning this Chipotle 
<laughs> and that means that the winner of the Chipotle guacamole challenge is Nade Shot with an asterisk oh. next to it. Add in Haley as well. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in to the Chipotle Masterclass here in the 100 Thieves YouTube channel. If you're not subscribed already, make sure you guys click on that red button. Hit the bell so you get notifications. Like the video. If this reaches 50,000 likes, my win will be rescinded from the leaderboards because I absolutely cheated. But if we don't hit 50,000, then the score stays. I'm 1-0. and Just want to say thank you to Chipotle for being such an incredible partner here at 100 Thieves. Make sure you guys sign up for Chipotle Rewards on the Chipotle app or online by July 30th so that you guys can get some free guac on National Avocado Day. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And you too. We'll see you fudging later. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Peace. I just realized I threw all the skin from the other onion right where I cut all the onions. What? So, Bro, I gotta eat this. I it, have to it, eat it, this. It, it adds a little texture, okay. you know, just a little extra crunch. Okay.